Carmen, I was just listening to Andrew McCarthy, and he talked about the Trevi Fountain. Tell us about your own Italy. I remember the first time I saw it. How did you feel the first time you saw the Trevi Fountain? Oh, gosh. The first time I saw the Trevi Fountain was back in 1989 when I first... No, I'm sorry, 1986, when I first went to Italy as an architecture student. Um, and I was in Italy for a month, and I saw the Trevi Fountain, and I had never seen anything like that. Coming from Washington, D.C., Rockville, Maryland, you know... Just the scale of it, um, it's a Baroque masterpiece. The movement of the water, it, it just, um, it's so unique. And if you see it at night, it's even more beautiful. The it's, way that the lights sparkle off exactly. of the water. And, um, yeah. You know, you said you're an architecture student. I actually went on a painting trip in Italy for two weeks. And all I remember is climbing up this large mountainous place, very top of the mountain. There's a very specific um, architectural like um, gem. I think it yeah. starts with P. Uh, maybe not P, but tell me about one that you might uh, be thinking of that might be coming to mind. In, in Rome? Yes. Okay, you were probably uh, thinking about the um, Bramante Chapel. It's at the very, it, uh, in the Monte Verde area. Um, and yeah, you have to climb up some along, stair along, along uh, long, across the, the ramp. Room across yes. the river yes. and then you go up the hill yeah 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 it's very that's beautiful too yeah absolutely there are a lot of these special kind of places where you you almost stumble upon them um and there's catacombs like yeah. when, like in the bottom of you know sometimes you'll go to a barn and then yeah. down in the barn where the wine cellar is you go down and there's all these wonderful like little hidden gems well i i lived on the uh apian way for 11 years and we had uh, a grotto in our yard and probably was part of the catacomb um web you know it's underground really extensive especially in that part of Rome, the eastern, southeastern part of Rome, right. And I remember a delicious, I was staying at Casa Sonino, okay. and uh, they had this delicious, like, uh, fresh zucchini flower, like, that she had dipped in batter, and, like, yeah. the food is so exquisite yeah. in Italy. The food is so good, and uh, sometimes my clients will ask, well, we need to budget, how much do we need to budget for food? And I said, you could get a very good dinner for $50 for two people. Okay. That will include a bottle of wine, an appetizer, and the food is good. It's so, not as expensive to eat as it is here. So you went to Italy. I think it was because someone, that, maybe a spouse or something, brought your family over there. You had four boys. So tell us about like how that journey you know, created your own company. Well, I studied architecture. So as I said, I did um, study in Rome, and I met my husband. We got married in 1989 had four sons. We raised four sons there. And they grew up in Rome, uh, came here to the U.S. to go to college, ended up staying for work. And so I had the empty nest syndrome. And I said, what am I going to do now? Why don't I bring Americans here to Italy and show them everything that I've discovered here? So, so Yeah. So, so, that's how it's, so it's different. So what you do is you kind of like custom and curate these beautiful little experiences for people. Right. Uh, each client has a unique itinerary. Um, I work with couples, um, families, extended families, you know, even 18 people, grandparents and grandkids and everything. Uh, and yeah, everybody has a different reason to go to Italy. Some people want to go um, to see the main sites. Some people want to relax. Some people want to visit their ancestral village. We can combine all of those things, you know, for, uh, for families and couples, you know, even um, I've had a, um, girlfriends who want to go on a girl trip. That's, yes. a, that's a fun itinerary to put together. <laughs> it sounds like fun. And all yeah. the art and the culture and the museums and all yeah. of that. So they could just call you and you'll create a custom package for them. Correct. Um, I get emailed or called by, by, a, by a potential client. Uh, they'll give me their budget their dates, what they'd like to do, and then I put together an itinerary for them. Of course, I make suggestions, you know, um, and we also like to give um, a list of, you know, boutique shops to do shopping and restaurant lists. Uh, these are restaurants, obviously, that I've been to that I know, and uh, we make reservations. We offer concert service from my office in Rome. Uh, each of our clients will have an, assi um, an assistant, you know, uh, assigned to them just to follow them through the itinerary. Uh, to make sure everything's going smoothly. One of the things I, do, I did enjoy was like the, there was a moon crater. I think it's Frangipani. It's like the strawberry festival. There's all these like different festivals. That's that's correct. Okay. 
especially in the central, well, all over. Southern Italy has a lot of festivals, but um, the medieval towns will have their annual festival. And it's, you know, it's a lot of pageantry, but usually has something to do with wine and food. So, yeah, we can definitely include those. <laughs> right, Carmen, you can't go wrong, right? You can't go wrong wherever you are. And if somebody was going to do some type of a little Italian feast for themselves here in America that made them feel like they were in Italy, what would you suggest? A certain cheese, a certain wine, any... Any like little well, tips here where uh, we could feel like a little bit of Italy well, if we well, couldn't travel there yet? You all are spoiled. You have Italy. Okay. Now we have an Italy in Rome, and Italians love it. Okay. It's all it's all good and authentic. I would just um, go shopping there and just get a good recipe and a good bottle of wine. Maybe watch a movie. <laughs> and the Italian. villages, you know, like Assisi too. Like I love the winding roads and yeah. all the cobblestones and the little yeah. tiny shops you can go into. It's yeah. a little like Hogwarts in a way, but it's oh, like, <laughs> but well, the scale. It's magical, yes. Yeah. The Something scale. about it. I think what's magical is the scale's very human. Yes. You know, that's going to be in all the little towns and and even the mid-sized towns. But even in Rome, Rome is really just six neighborhoods organized around a river. So you're in Trastevere, you're in Testaccio, you're in the historic center, El Centro Storico, Prati. It's a little town. And the doors. I love yeah. the sound, Carmen, when you open the doors to a shop and it makes yeah. it just like, yeah. like that, that sound. It's a welcoming sound yeah. or like the little sound of the bells that they have on the doors. Yeah. There's no place like Italy, in yeah. my opinion. I, Is I that agree. why you stay? Yes, I agree. You know, it's, uh, I can't not live there anymore. <laughs> it's a little too late. <laughs> and you know, and the other thing I love too is like I went and I went on a painting trip and I was oh, creating, I, I was painting in plain air and what was so beautiful is that the mountains in the distance look purple yeah. and the tall cypress trees, right. it's just spectacular. The sunsets, it's lovely there. Right. I don't think any, any country is so blessed with natural beauty as is Italy because as you said, you know, there are lakes, there's the, um, the coastline, the mountains, um, Anywhere you look, there's just natural beauty. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're here in the States visiting and sharing a little bit about your authentic experience so that people can contact you and then they could have, like, you know, that little custom experience, big or small. But at least we know it's going to be authentic. So you have to reach out to Carmen. I read about her before I showed up here, um, thanks to Amanda, who put together this great look book. So when I walked up and I saw you, I was like, oh, there she is. It's Carmen. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. You know what? You can have your own Italy. That's right. Your own Italy. All right. Be well. Just for you. Just for you. Bye.